lovely birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to City Skylines Green Cities. I just love sitting here, apparently in the rain, watching as the cars go by and people walk across sidewalks, and it's interesting just to see how... What? <laughs> A car just disappeared and they just started walking down the road. Hmm... I'm sure that doesn't actually happen, but okay, sure. Anyway, we are approaching our concert day, so I want to make sure that we have exactly what we need over here. And let's see, is everything happening properly here? Yeah, it looks like it is. Good. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to just fix some, fix this terrain because it's going to look, it's looking a little bit weird. It's not going to look a little bit weird. It's already looking weird. So we need to flatten this out a little bit more so we can actually fit our fan zone park. I think that's what it was called. So that way it won't be just hanging off a cliff because who wants that, right? We don't want people trying to maybe jump to their deaths here. That would not be good. All right, so something like that. That's still a li little bit rocky, but if we try to even this out, it's not really going to work out super, super well, so this should be more than enough. There we go. Something like that there is good. I think we're only going to really use this area here. All right, so it works for me. Let's go ahead and just remove this road now, though, because we are ne going to need to clear that out so we can actually fit this properly. So let's see. We're going to need our bike lane. Yeah, that's what we've been using. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place this. Let's see. I'm going to assume maybe right here. And let's, ooh, let's just stretch this guy out to right there. And that hopefully should be good enough. So let's see. This guy, we can afford it. Hey, that's always good. All right. So let's go ahead and put that guy right there. And that looks to be about right. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to go ahead and actually make the rest of the roads around here to make sure that we connect all the way through. So let's do something like that. And ooh, these roads are a little bit wonky. But hey, that's fine. It works. It works. Hey, that's perfect with me. And let's go ahead and remove the rest of these guys. So there we go. We have our fans in. We have our concert menu. That's nice. And we, of course, need to unlock these two. We need a lot more commercial zoning and apparently our university. So we will try to get our university this time. And we'll... Ooh. Uh, activates... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. The media broadcast, uh, broadcast building is a significant landmark and attracts people to see its impressive broadcast tower. Also, it increases the effectiveness, uh, effectiveness of active advertisement campaigns by 20%. Nice. But yeah, we're going to have to place things just to get there. So, for now... Huh. Look at that. You can see the difference between the wet roads and the not wet roads. That's kind of cool. Anyway, for now, let's go ahead and just uh, finish connecting these guys up through here. Just to make sure that, you know, we actually have a connection here. Otherwise, nobody's getting here at all. They're going to have to jump through the park again. And that wouldn't work out so well for us. And I kind of want to make this an, a zoned area. Just to see if I can maybe get some parking spots in here. I know we do have the uh, parking all in its own, but I really do not want to use that. And, oh, actually, I should probably just cover this whole area. What am I doing? I'm just like, oh, yeah, let me just make this its own zone. No. This is going to be part of the Central Park. Who am I kidding? And, yeah, I'm going to actually call it Central Park because it's basically going to be the middle of the city. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little bit too much zoning there. I will fix that. No worries. No worries at all. All right, so let's grab all of that there. Let's make sure that that area is included and make sure that this area is also included. Maybe not too much of that, though. There we go. Good. And ta-da, that's going to be not Rosewood Hills. We're going to just call it oh, Central Park. There we go. All right, so policies. Which policies are we going to implement here? Well, of course, we have to re implement the recycling ones because recycling is always important no matter where we are. And, hmm. We can probably go for Parks and Rec, even though it's really not that necessary, but sure. We can also probably go for a smoking ban just so that nobody will set, set things on fire. Pet ban is not actually going to work for us here. And let's see, anything over here? Well, we do want to keep these guys happening everywhere just in case. We never know what's going to happen. And I do want to encourage biking. People can bike on sidewalks. I don't... I really, really don't care. And heavy traffic ban is going to be pretty important. Just because I do not want too many uh, big cars that or big trucks that don't belong here to be here. So hopefully that's going to be everything that we need. I will actually attach to this our, let's see, a commercial specialization in organics and local produce. Just because we, I think, are going to build some things over here that I hope will end up being parking spots. But I'm not so sure if they will. So let's try that, and hopefully those will be parking spots. If they're not, well, that's okay. We'll keep those there, and people will hopefully find some use for them, right? At some point, hopefully they will. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for now because, of course, we are very, very close to getting our train. So I'm thinking we want to actually work on that sometime soon. But, of course, we're going to have to place the train station somewhere. So where are we going to have this train station? Well, I'm thinking that we could probably have it somewhere over here. So I'm going to go and drop a road. Let's see. What kinds of road? Oh, those are... These are just the basic ugly roads. Oh, boy. I did not actually use the nice roads over here, so that kind of sucks. But, I mean, 
It happens sometimes. Alright, so I'm gonna just go ahead and use this one instead. I really wish I would have unlocked this area because that would be so nice to use right now, but eh. It is what it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and extend the road out through here. And as soon as we get our train, I'm going to place it somewhere over here. Oh, got to make sure that this is connected. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. Let's see. Let's connect this guy right through here. And that one we'll just use to connect our train as soon as we get it. And let's see. Do we have water down here? We do not have water down here. Alright, so let's just go ahead and extend our water out a little bit further. And that should be more than enough. Whew. Getting close, you guys. Getting very, very close to the point where we can actually do that. Get our, um... Get our train running. And... I'm thinking, where do we want to put our university area? This area looks pretty flat, and... The heck? <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't know what, the he what that's supposed to be, but what is this area? Is that where something touched down? Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, ah, okay, so this is an agriculture area. Maybe I shouldn't use that. Maybe I should use this, because we're never going to go into the oil industry. That is not green at all. So I think, yeah, I'll save this for agriculture and then the university can be back here it's going to connect with this highway here i suppose and maybe once we unlock that we'll uh build it out further this way so we can actually connect it with both highways and have you know people going down both of them not having to go from one to the other because that increases traffic and that's something we do not want speaking of traffic let's take a look at our traffic flow our traffic flow is actually not that bad although it looks like we have a lot of stuff going through here but we know what the problem here is it's just that this is like a what one two three four five eight way intersection so yeah there's of course gonna be a lot of cars right there and that's really where most of our problem hey we're not the capital city but yeah that's where most of our problems are honestly so i mean we could definitely solve that pretty easily let's see what is oh of course there's an issue over here with people always trying to go through here but i do know if we can solve that any which way Let's see, do, 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 do. can we, do we have any, oh, okay, we only have stop signs there, so I mean, that's perfect. Hmm, we probably don't need that one, actually. <laughs> Let me just try to remove that one, maybe that'll help a little bit. And, right, so we have harbors now. I wonder if we can place anything, any harbors? Let's see, ships, and we need maybe a cargo harbor. So we can't get this here, we're probably going to have to go out a little bit further this way. Shoreline required, yeah, it's, oh, it's down over here. It can't be over here because it's, it's apparently not connected to the route. All right, fair enough. So once we get down here, we are going to be able to do that. But over here, that is not a possibility because the shoreline is just way, way, way too far. Ah, it's all the way over here. My gosh, can we actually see where this is? No, apparently not. Well, apparently it's over here. Ooh. Well, we, well, we do have to buy this one, don't we? I wonder if we can do it over here now. Hmm, let's see. Can we get our harbor somewhere over here? Because this, then, is going to become a nice transportation area. Uh, oh, yep, yep, we can do it. We can definitely do it. All right, so this, I mean, our trains are right there. This is going to be a perfect transportation area for that. I just don't know how the heck I'm going to get everything to, through here. I suppose we could add this later on. It's not, you know, imperative to add it right now, so that's fine. And we will instead focus on adding ourselves our trains. So we're going to need a cargo train terminal. I did actually add the road over here. So let's make sure that this guy is... Hmm. Let's see, our train lines are over here. I can probably bring it over here if I do it on this side. So sure, I'll do it on this side. Although a part of me wants to make a road that sticks out from here just because it looks like that's probably going to be for the best. This is a big, big agricultural area right here. So that kind of sucks at the same time we're placing this here, but hey... We have to have it somewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this guy somewhere over here just so we can have enough room with our train uh, line there. There we go. Now we can actually place the train lines. That's not that bad. And this one, we gonna have to actually loop it right back over here so we can connect it right back to this. So let's see. I'm going to have to... Okay, thank goodness. I was like, uh-oh, am I going to have to move that? I really hope I'm not. I may have to, though, just to make it even. Yeah, it looks like I have to just so that it can be a little bit even because that's not going to... Well, we do have Move It, so I mean, I could always use Move It to make sure that we have things looking kind of okay. Let's see, if we want this to be out straight, like, uh, not there? Not there? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna try again, just because clearly that is not okay. So what we can do is we can make it, like, go over through here, connect here, and then do it over there, just in case. But I really do not want to do this. So let's see, we want to grab this here, I'm gonna... Just build it to there, uh -huh. and this we want to grab to there and build it down through there. Ta-da! Something like that, sure. And this one's going to connect somewhere down over here as soon as we build this up, of course. So we're going to have to bring this out through, let's see. Our train is over there. Oh my gosh. I thought it was over here for some reason. Ah, oh, so this is going to be close to the university area. That's going to be interesting, especially since we're going to have like a lot of transportation coming through the university area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here because, of course, we are going to make this eventually 
a uh, another industrial area, and then we can have maybe another train over here, and then connect from there to there. So that should hopefully work. So we're gonna just go ahead and stretch this out through to here, and it's gonna be ooh. Probably shouldn't do it just like that. I should probably bring it to let's see, get out of here to there because I'm gonna have to, of course, bridge it somewhere over here, and it should probably bridge it twice just to make sure that we have a tall enough bridge. So let's see. Ooh. <laughs> That is not okay. All right, so I want to bring that over just a little bit more. So he's already occupied, apparently. So he's already occupied. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so I can only go to right here. Fair enough. And I want to bring it down then, because we really do not need to bring it out any further. And let's see, I want to bring it right over there, and we have to turn it. So let's go ahead and bring this through here. I think if I bring it out a little bit further, it should work better for us, because of course, then we can actually add our train in here. So let's see, I want to bring it right through to here. We can have our other train station somewhere in here. All right. So, this one, well, we want to make sure that we bring it through here, and I think this is not going to work out for us because of the borders. So, I'm going to have to just do some kind of connection somewhere over here. Bring it out this way, and then connect out the- nope, that's not going to work. Of course it won't. Of course it won't. So, we're going to have to, yeah, do this. Aha. This will work. This will- uh, <laughs> maybe it'll work. I don't know. Let's see. So, we're going to bring it out across the water. Across the water. Something high, really, really high. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna start bridging it right over. What the heck? I wanna bridge it right here because I don't want it to bridge on the land. That seems a little bit too wonky for me. And we're going to bring it all the way across the way here. Sure, I guess that's okay. Oh, jeez, that's really not what I wanted. But I mean, if it works, that's fine. And let's see. We need to make sure that we go back down. And where are we connecting it this through? Right. So we have to go over, and then we'll actually bring it all the way through there. Good. That should work. All right. So. Let's see, yes, we want to touch upon the ground, good. And we want to go this way. And we want to just maybe stop right over here. At what, what's our angle? <laughs> what exactly is our angle here? I can't even tell. So, okay, this lock's here, good. And this one, right. So, we could just, like, crash land it right through the highway, but I really don't want to do that because, well, who wants that to happen? So, we'll have this here and then bring this down. There we go. And that looks about equal. Oop, move back here. Back a little bit. There we go. Right there. Good. Whew. All right, so now it's just a matter of bringing it straight through and connect. Are you kidding me right now? Are you? Is this a joke? That's like some kind of massive joke. Okay, so we're going to just bring it out through here, and then we'll figure out our connections a little bit closer to here. Because, of course, we're going to have to split it so we can go this way, and then we can go that way. All right, so let's see. If we do that, we're going to have to do something like this. That might work. Uh, we can't bring it there. All right, so good. It's going to have to go right there. And this one, we'll do a connection right here, because that one looks fair enough. Sure. All right, there we go. So we have our train line actually connecting through to this guy. And we have the extra piece there, which I'm going to leave just in case. And, well, this guy, we, of course, have to connect it all the way through to this piece over here, which I, c I guess we could do that. Or we could bring it all the way over here and then connect it there just to keep things a little bit separate for as long as we can. So I kind of want to do that just because I think that's going to work out super well for us. So let's do something like that there. And, ooh, <laughs> that just does not look good. I want to bring it, let's see, invalid. Get, get out. Uh-huh. And can I just, uh, all right, sure, yeah, just in case. All right, and let's see, let's make sure that our power is connected as well, because I don't think it is, it's really not. So we're going to have to bring it across the way over here, and, ooh, really? All right, let's just drop one there and then connect it right there. Works! All right, so our train is connected to our, well, outside line, and now this area here is going to be used for the university. I guess I'm going to have to stick to this side here, just because, of course, we can use this for transport, and then, well... We will maybe have another train station somewhere in the back here so we can actually transport things from the harbor to the train to this one over here and reduce our use of roads just because that's going to make life a lot easier. So what we're going to do, well, let's see, we don't have much money actually, so I probably shouldn't, yep, I can't even do that. All right, so never mind, we don't have money and I can't actually place the cargo terminal either. So, or the, I should say the cargo um, ship, the cargo harbor, there we go. I was like, what the heck is the name of this thing? The cargo harbor, there we go. And this guy can only really place it in certain areas. Seems like most of the time it's like, oh, need a shoreline. We can place it somewhere over here, though. Ooh, yes. And of course, we can get this guy as well. This, we're going to have to create a passenger transportation area just so that we can make sure that we have a way to take people out from this university area all the way through to where they need to go, which is probably somewhere in here. Hmm. And let's see. How are we looking in terms of not enough buyers for products? Well, it seems like some places have it, not that many places compared to before, so this is better. However, right now it looks like we have a pretty high commercial demand, so ooh, <laughs> these trees are looking a little bit rotten right now. Anyway, we do have some commercial demand, so I'm thinking we could probably go ahead and extend our commercial area out 
this way just so we can actually make use of this land because we really don't have much going on this way so i'm going to extend this out this way and we're going to add some commercial and also some uh, offices just just when we need it basically all right so let's go ahead and grab this guy through here and i'm gonna go at 90 degree angle please and thank you all right so there we go i want to stretch it out a little bit more just so we can have the best use of this land and this land has what is it or yeah, or. Yeah, we're never going to use that. Not in a million years. Not in a gazillion years, honestly, because, again, not green practices. So, over here, we can go ahead and, let's see, I want to stretch this to... Ooh, not there. I want to go, like, right next door to this. So, this can be right here. This is probably going to be a nice start. It is! Alright, not bad. So, this is going to be our start here. And we're going to bring this all the way through... Well, we can bring it all the way through the back, huh? Sure, I'll, I'll just extend it there. And let's see, we could probably do something... Ooh. There is a little bit of ridge there, but that should not be much of a problem. Let's see. We should probably do it kind of between these two. There we go. All right. Just trying to make the most use of this as is possible so we can get as much commercial. And actually, we could even make this our leisure area, huh? So that did take it away before. So this can be our leisure area. That way we'll have some good commercial coming in here. So that will probably work. Sure. Let's do that. And since I do love me some crossroads, like, uh, let's see. Apparently not like that. Well, I mean, we can always make a crossroad a lot thinner, just because. Or can I do this? Ooh, hold on, hold on. I can almost do that. 45 there. Can I actually connect this through here? No, I can't. God dang it. So I think I'm going to have to make this one just a little bit smaller, just so it'll work. Because clearly, trying to bring a road from here to here somehow is not going to work. Unless I find a nice, nice spot here. Hmm. Space already. Oh, there. It's going to be at a 72 degree angle, though. That is not okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy instead. See if we can maybe do this down through here. Uh-huh. Works. And, oh, that's actually a little bit wonky. That's a little bit too wonky for me. No, no, no. That is not okay. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to try that again. Let's see if we can actually keep it straight out. Uh-huh. There. Good. And maybe there. Uh-huh. And maybe there. All right. I like that. And we could probably go ahead. Can we do this? Okay, that's a little bit weird. But this one's not as weird, so sure. We'll do this. So we can actually have a nice cross-section here. I, I really like me some cross-sections. I don't know if you guys can tell. Holy! <laughs> well, I mean, that's a six-way. I guess that's fine. That might be fine, especially if... Actually, I really don't like that one there. I really do not. I think it's fine this way, and this area can just be well, whatever we want. All right, so this is going to be a nice little leisure area. So we want to make sure that we zone this out on its own. Otherwise, well, we're not going to have what we need here. So... Brand new zone over here by the nasty, nasty, uh, well, I guess it's a solar power plant, so it's not that nasty. Alright, so fill that in, and the only way in here is through that road there, which kinda sucks, but hopefully there's not that many people traveling in here. If there is, I will probably just do a bus. Or I could always extend that bus into here. What the heck? Something just fell. Oh my gosh. My room is haunted. Ooh. Anyway, let's see. So we want leisure specialization, right? We do not want tourism, because there's no reason for tourism here. So leisure all up in there, so that'll take care of that. And if we do add some offices, of course, they, will, they have to be IT. I think that's all that we have right now, right? Yeah, it looks like that's all that we have. All right, so, of course, we want to go for the high density, even though it usually doesn't seem like we go for high density, so whatever. <laughs> it, it is what it is. It fills out with what it wants to fill out with. And let's see, something like that there. And we'll leave the outside areas unfilled, so that, that way we can put in, like, fire and everything else that we're going to need here because of course this area is not covered by that area over there so let's go ahead and add ourselves actually probably add it right here that's going to be some nice coverage there and our police of course we're going to need police because you know you know what's going to happen in these areas that are basically filled with leisure we're going to have some problems so let's go ahead and put the police there and that should be okay although now we're basically broke so i mean it is what it is as for this area of course we do not have water so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a nice road right through here and bring this right through to here and bring this up and over and that's almost everything of course we just have to run one right down through the middle but that's pretty easy to do there we go and that was actually affordable nice all right so the only thing that we seem to be having a problem with is power which we have right in the back here so i mean that should not be the most difficult thing to do we probably just go ahead and bring it right through there and it should connect eventually if somebody decides to build up in there that way we don't have to deal with uh bringing it in through this area because that kind of makes us suffer a little bit come on somebody build here am i gonna have to build my own thing there Ugh. Maybe, maybe what we can do is build like a sauna or let's see, sports hall and gymnasium. Yeah, but that's going to cost us way too much money. So, I mean, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I guess the sauna is probably going to be the most affordable one. So, sure, we'll build a sauna back here if people don't build up in that area. Oh, they look like they're getting close. 
they were definitely getting very, very close. But for now, it's uh, they're taking some time. So yeah, we're going to build a sauna there, especially since now we have the money for this. So let's see a sauna for everybody who actually needs to chill for a little bit. Let's see. We can probably put the sauna right back in here since it looks like this area is not yet taken. Ooh. That one is. All right, I'm going to leave some room there, though, just in case somebody decides to build in there. And that's not connected, is it? Because, of course, that's way too far away. God dang it. I thought I would have been close enough. Um, huh. Well, I guess I can bring it around, huh? Sure, I'll bring it around. Let's just uh, remove that and that and bring it around down. All the way through here. Back through to here. And then back through right here. Because that should be connected. It looks like it's touching. There we go. Problem solved. All right, so our leisure area is in, and we are getting plenty of commercial. How are we looking in terms of our special building over here? Oh, gosh. We still need a lot more commercial than that. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine. It happens. And we have some people going to the police station. That's fine. All right, so buses. I do want to add, actually, a bus stop somewhere over here just because it looks like we're probably going to need that. Get out of here. Get, get out. All right, so um, bus, 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 bus. We can probably have just one stop coming in down here. I really do not think we need a line or stop over here, so I do want to drag this one over to here instead so we can have a stop. Let's see. Let's put the stop... Hmm. Here. Sure. That looks like it's going to make it pretty easy, although there's nothing really built out here just yet, but there should be. And let's see. We'll have a stop maybe right over here. Drag line to add a stop. Here. There we go. All right. Works for me. We have a stop there. We have a stop there. They're really not parallel, but whatever. Works. All right. So that should help out a little bit. It looks like we still have some things destroying themselves because, of course, not enough buyers for products, but we hopefully should be satisfying that pretty soon. Let's see. Do we have any... Tra what? Did I not bring... Oh, I put water just out of the way. My gosh. All right. My bad. My bad. There we go. You have water now. Get over yourself. Good. And, I mean, we can't really see if we're getting trains, but I really hope we are because that would be nice. That would be very, very nice. And, obviously, sending things out would also help out so that we won't have so much traffic on our roads. Now that we have tons of traffic, but hey, I'm just saying. And let's see. Oh, we already went through a concert. So, how was that? Popularity? Oh, Nestor, not really that popular. Maybe we should have done some advertising or maybe gotten that premium studio, huh? Since we do have the money for that. Yeesh. Okay, that sucks. That definitely sucks, especially since we're going to need to get these to 70 popularity. Oh, geez. Well, our next concert is coming up in a few months. I really wish the concerts happened a little bit more often. Otherwise, well, that's, this is basically useless. And let's see. We have... Ooh, okay, good. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the free charge EV charging just because that's parking for our concert venue. And these guys, not enough customers. Well, I wonder why, because you're not supposed to be here at all. Let's see. This is probably coffee. That looks like a market. Not really what I wanted here at all. So hopefully we'll get some more parking, because that's exactly what I was looking for. I know it's going to take a while to actually get it just right, but hey, you know, it, it's everything's going to take time. All right, so we have a little bit of money. I don't know if we can afford the university right now. Let's see. University Modern Technology Institute. No. <laughs> no, we cannot. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer so we can actually get enough money. Or alternatively, what we can do is bump up taxes to... <gasps> No! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was not charging the proper amount of taxes for everybody here. We were losing a butt ton of money just because of that. My gosh. All right, how's our budget looking? We're using as much as we can in terms of these guys here. We're using as much as we can for the school. That's good. Don't think we really need that. Don't think we really need a lot of these. Probably need to lower the buses so we won't have so many buses, but that should be okay overall. Loans, right. We. Did I forgot about that one. I really did forget about that one. No wonder, you guys. No wonder. All right, so now it's just a matter of collecting money so we have enough for our university. And, oh, boy, it looks like we had another massive fire over here. But everything rebuilt, so, I mean, I guess it's fine. Just got to wait for the land to take care of itself. Anyway, yeah. Got to get the money so we can build our university area. I said I was going to do it somewhere over here. So, I mean, I suppose, yeah, we're going to have to build a lot of stuff over here. So this is going to be our next development zone. Hopefully nothing bad happens because, hey, there's a plane. Although we don't have an airport. But hey, pie plane. And there is a ship coming in right here. So, I mean, if only, if only we had our harbor already up here. But I guess we're going to have to wait until we have plenty of money to do that. All right. So we have a good amount of money. And, oh, trains. Hey, they're actually working. Nice. All right. And I see a lot of actually like a lot of cars and trucks going in here. So I'm going to, or mostly it's just trucks, but I'm going to assume that, yeah, we are sending things out with regular frequency, which is good because that means we're probably not using the roads as much. Anyway, university area. Let's go ahead and do this right now since we are apparently losing people. We're not getting anywhere close to this guy over here. Floating cafe, cargo hop. Wait, what? 
cargo harbor that accepts also train traffic. Um. Really? Really? Huh. I guess I'm maybe going to have to save that. Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion Plant. Ooh. That sounds cool as well. Oh, man. I can't wait. But, of course, we're going to need a lot more people. And then we get our airport, which, of course, is going to be great because that way we can actually accept a lot of tourism. That would be nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and pause this so we can work on our first roads because I do want to keep ourselves with these uh, bigger roads. Although, I think I want to go for the bike lane roads because this is going to be a university area. And that means that, well, students... So I want to make sure that their students have everything they need. Let's see. I want to keep this kind of even all the way throughout here. Not even really with the highway. But I want to make sure that we have things kind of on a proper area. Is this good? It looks like it's slowly tearing away from the area that I needed to. Let's see. Something like that. No, I have to scooch it in a little bit more. Somehow it's still all 60 degrees. Okay, that's 61. Um, how about if I continue extending it out this way? Just so I can see how it connects. Maybe. Let's see. Let's just lay that one down and see if that works. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. All right. So I'm going to keep this route here. Reason being that, of course, this is going to be kind of our middle area because I will eventually unlock this once we can use this also for a university area. So I'm going to keep this road here. We're probably going to scooch it over a little bit or build a second road somewhere up through here. So this one's going to be fair enough because, of course, we will have our train over here. So what we can do is probably just plow this one right through here and all the way through here because we're gonna need it right so let's just do something like that and eventually we have oh no we're good we're still good all right works for me and let's see that means we can actually take this road up through here for our cargo harbor and everything but i won't do that just yet so this is gonna be our main road into here however of course it's not gonna connect it to our highway because that's a problem i'm gonna go ahead and move this one back a little bit more something like that there that way we can have nice proper area so our university we are gonna of course have it going off this road but we want to have it maybe closer somewhere over here in the middle not too close to this because that's gonna cause quite a few problems so bike lane right gotta keep it up with the bike lane because of course that's what we want for these people we want them to mostly use this and let's see our middle point somewhere around here i'm gonna assume it's gonna be something like here so I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy here, and let's drag it right through there and bring it through to right here. Yeah, and then I want to do maybe just a straight road back here so we can actually have our university and everything else that we need because we will have faculty buildings, so that's going to be pretty important. I'm going to do it kind of like I did before, just because that tended to work out pretty well for us, except I kind of want a square, so part of me wants to just remove part of this road so I can do a, a nice university square here. So let's see, something like this here. We can always keep that road, though. That wouldn't be that much of an issue, would it? Hmm, let's see and do that there. All right, so I mean this isn't really a square, but whatever. These are two squares. There we go. Hey, that works for me. All right, so university. Let's see. We have, of course, our Modern Technology Institute. This school teaches teenagers in the ways of teenagers. Only teenagers go to college? What? So we can only we can only teach 4,000 here is 4,500. This is not that different. So let's go ahead and place this guy right down through here. This is going to be a problem, of course, to transport people over here because, of course... The people who need to learn here are probably going to be out over in this area. So how is that going to cover this? Well, don't worry. We'll create connections all the way over here. Oh, wow. They were actually pretty happy with this. So it's going to hold everybody, basically. So we can build these just because I really like having these extra buildings. I like having maybe... Oh, maybe just one because apparently we don't have money for this. All right. That's fair enough. And just a single one. And I mean, I, I, I really like the look of that. Why is it green? I swear it wasn't green before, but sure... I love the look of this university. It just looks super... Whoa, 5,000. Okay, that's even better. It just looks super, super cool. So that's just... I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at this. You guys, it's awesome. It is awesome. All right, so I wish what I, what I could do is have um, a bus-only road, but that is not a thing. So unfortunately, we're not going to do that. We could have them take only the train, but again, that's not going to work out super well for us. So can't do that either so we're gonna have to connect our road somehow through here and i think the best way to do this is honestly to make them get on an on-ramp and off-ramp from the highway so what we can do is we can maybe con make connections from here to here however i don't know if i want too much traffic coming off of these guys because that would cause problems and also i'm gonna have to make another Ooh, we do have these and these are of course not affordable hey look at that you guys we can't afford these well <laughs> I guess that does happen sometimes, and we would have to move this around, switch it over so we can have the off-ramp over here. We have our Cloverleaf intersection, which I don't think would be the better one. No, it really wouldn't, because that means we'd have to have an off-ramp over there. And this, of course, we only have our roundabout. So what, what money? Ooh. 
Maybe if we, I let it go, we'll be okay. I could just build a road from there to there, but that's going to cause a lot of traffic. Heck, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it anyway just because. So we're going to go ahead and grab our bike lane roads all the way through and just make sure that it works for us. So let's see. Can I actually make a road through here? Can I actually bring it up? Is that, is that a thing here? So I'm going to destroy those two things in the corner, but hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever, apparently. That's going to be just fine. So let's see. We want to go at maybe a 120 degree angle right there. Can we go over this road? We can. Nice. All right. Works for me. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go, of course, down. And we're going to make it just as long as the other one. So something like that. Sure. And this is going to be a pretty easy connection right here. So this this works. However, it's really not ideal. So let's see. We want to make it through there. And there. Ta-da. It's... It's dumb, but it works. So for now, yeah, I'll keep it that way just because we don't have that much money to work with this. So hey, we have a university area. And so for this area, what I want to do, obviously I want to build out more uh, buildings like that there. And let's see. So I, if I press play, will we actually get uh, get this? construct? Wait, now you need a fire station. Did I know I already built a fire station? Let's see. Um... I mean, I could obviously place one here, but of course we don't have the money for that. Fire station, fire station. I have a little itty bitty thing right there. I, I, I guess I don't. I could have sworn I did, but I guess I don't. Oh my gosh, and this area is getting worse. I thought it was getting better, but it's really not. I didn't add a fire station. My gosh. Well, everything I thought I did was a lie, apparently. <laughs> oh boy. So part of me wants to grab... Oh boy. Nothing happening over here. Part of me wants to grab a loan. I think I'm going to have to just so we can deal with this. Let's see. Weekly cost. That is not that bad. Although... You know, it's not that bad. Especially if we have things growing really quickly over here. And I can probably pay it off and take another one. I'll take another one and pay it off, right? So let's see. We're going to go ahead and grab our water right through here as we did before. And drag it all the way through to make sure we have this kind of at a 90 degree angle. Perfect. Bring it through here. And I want to make sure that we cover... Ooh, that's a little bit too far. Let's see. Cover this. Good, good, good. I'm going to bring it right through there. Good. And we need to extend this further back a little bit just so we can have this... Uh-oh. Well, I guess we're going there. <laughs> just so we can have that covered. All right. Works for me, although I kind of went to the opposite side with that one. All right. So all that we need over here is some power, which is actually pretty easy to do. Space already occupied. Okay, maybe not that easy. Uh, let's see. How about if we do it there? We can do it right there, and we do it there. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. Anyway, bring that one up there, up there, and just bring the connection right through there. Ta-da! We are connected to our power, and apparently we're going to need some more power pretty soon. But hey, that's okay. All right, so we have more than enough money right now. We aren't actually making any money because, of course, we have spent way too much of it. But what I want to do, just uh, make this kind of even on both sides. I want to balance it out. And we're going to need a fire station back here, apparently, because apparently we didn't already have one. And also, this area is absolutely terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. So can we have this somewhere near the university? Maybe not exactly there. Maybe closer to here. I think I can still get a road through there, right? Let's see. Can we get a road through there? Perfect. All right. So that one works for me, and we can probably do a police station as well. What are we going to need next? Oh, I thought we needed. Okay, well, I'm going to do a police station anyway, just because teenagers and let's see police police so police headquarters that's what it's called all right so i want to leave let's see three spaces right next door to this there we go and that should work out pretty well in our favor because everything is of course connected maybe not that guy though hmm is he connected not so much all right so how can i pay this off Sixty thousand twenty. 000, 20 we can't really pay that off whoops <laughs> Oh boy, alright, so we're gonna need some more stuff happening up over here. Eventually I will turn these into areas where you can maybe live, because dorms are gonna be pretty ex important and uh, probably expensive to, you know, keep up, especially since we're gonna have to build a lot of stuff over here. But hey, look at that, we can hold a lot of university students, so hopefully they'll be coming over this way on a weird, weird path. So what I want to do is, of course, I want to extend ourselves a nice new bus line, just to make sure that we have things working for us. So. What I want to do is I want to make maybe the, start the new line over here, honestly. So let's go ahead and start the new line. Oh, nope. Cancel that. Get out. Right here. Bring it out through to maybe right over here just because. All right. And we won't have any stops over here. And we will have a stop, though, over here. And I won't bring it through there because that's just going to cause some problems. So we're going to have this. Actually, I, I probably should. Sure. I'll bring it all the way throughout here since it's going to make people happy anyway. All right. So let's do that there. Let's do another stop right over there. And we're going to bring this right down the outside here. All right. Works for me. Of course, I'm going to have to change the color because otherwise it's going to get really confusing very, very fast. And let's see. We can have this be a double line for that there. We can have the same thing there. Let's see. The same thing over here. And the only difference is we're going to actually have a stop over here so we can bring it back this way. All right. There we go. Have a stop right up here. There we go. All right. 
Not bad. And we're going to bring it right back over here. We need to stop, let's see, right over here. Or maybe over here. Huh. All right, I'll just do that there. And they'll just have to cross the street just to get where they want to go. So this second bus, we're going to make sure that it is. Let's see. Second bus, we're going to have this called the University Line. And it's going to be, I guess, red? Purple? Mm. Purple. All right, University Line is purple. 16 stops. Hopefully we don't have that many vehicles because that would be kind of wasteful. And the buses should hopefully be coming over here sometime soon. We aren't really making money because, of course, we built up all these things that aren't really yet generating us a profit. So that kind of sucks that we're going to continue losing money for a little bit. But hey, that's just the way things work sometimes. And let's see, we have a lot of cars coming over here. Oh, you do not have any power at all. So we should probably get you some of that just because... Don't think anything's going to connect with you anytime soon. So let's see. Something like that there. Good, good. And hopefully that's good. What do we have over here? Um, going to... Oh! You're a student here. Oh, they already figured out where they have to go. Nice! Although I don't really like them living all the way out here, out over here. But hey, that's just the way things are sometimes. Alright, so we are getting a little bit of industrial demand. And that kind of makes me want to build extra roads in through here. Because I know we have like all these wonky roads. I kind of want to fill in these areas here just to make use of everything that we have. So, I mean, we could do that. Let's see. What kinds of roads do we have here? We do have those. So, we could do that. We could probably just take this down through here and connect it in a very wonky way. Let's see something like that there and do that. But, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I could, of course, do something like, let's see, do this here and then bring it out through here and ooh. Ooh, okay, I like this idea. I'm really, really liking this idea. However, that's going to ruin what we already have here, but hey, that's okay. All right, so we're going to take this down here and then connect it. Ooh, <laughs> maybe not exactly like that. Let's see, out through here and connect it down through, hmm. Seems like this one's not as far. All right, that's that's fair. You can probably just bring it straight through up to here instead. Hey, that works for me. All right, so let's bring it out a little bit more. Can we bring it out through here? Ooh, don't like the look of that. All right, let's go through here. Maybe a little bit further. Here. There we go. I like that. All right. So that's going to cover a little bit more area in here. So that way we'll actually have our zoning properly. So let's go one, two, three. There's a little baby one there. It's probably just going to be like a, a board because that's really what we get in these little areas here. But hey, that's fine. It still counts, right? It still counts. All right. So we'll continue doing different roads like that just to make sure that this whole area is used for the most part. That way we can have all of the industrial that we need ever. So that should hopefully be enough for this little demand. It looks like we are going to have some residential demand. So since we do still have some money, what I want to do is I want to build out a nice little industrial area, or excuse me, a residential area over here. So what we want to do with that, we want to make sure that we keep our our obvious um, bus, or excuse me, not bus. Why do I keep calling it bus lanes? Our obvious bike lanes, because those are going to help us out a lot. And let's go ahead and do something like that there. Bring this out through, huh. Apparently not there. We can probably connect this, these guys together, huh? Yeah, that's what's going to have to happen. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and curve it up. Let's see. Bring this out. Curve it up. Ta-da! That works for me. All right. So we're going to be able to use this area here for the residential. And I know it's not going to be as green as everything else, but hey, it's fine. We're fine here. All right. So let's see if we can take a road right across. The Ooh. That's going to make for, I mean, that's going to make for really high, uh, higher density looking houses or buildings, really. But overall, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. This could help us, but this could also hurt us because we'll maybe have smaller buildings, huh? All right, and in this one, we'll add our parks and whatnot. As for over here, we can obviously make that there, and that should be good enough. All right, so there's not going to be that much housing here, but hey, it'll be fine. And did we make our zone here? <laughs> Just going to make sure that we have our zone here. Otherwise, we're going to struggle a little bit. So let's go ahead and fill that out, and we'll add our parks in there as soon as possible. Let's see. Fill that in, fill that in. All this in there. There we go. And zoning. No, we didn't have a zone. All right. So that kind of sucks, but we'll do that right now. Fill this whole thing in a nice little square just like that. All right. So that works for me. Applegate District. Weird, but all right. So we want to make sure that we have ourselves, let's see, this guy and uh, this guy. And maybe even this guy just in case we decide to put some office in there because we never know. We never know where we're going to go there. And of course, our policies for... Recycling have got to be put in. Otherwise, we're going to suffer a little bit. And obviously, our cars. Because we have to make sure that we keep things nice and electric. Otherwise, well, I honestly, this is going to spend more money. But otherwise, we'd have a few more problems. Anyway, zoning is done right. So we need a park in here. A park. A pretty big park. Maybe, a, no, not Fishing Island. Maybe a tropical gar. Ooh, that's not that big. Dog park. Also not that big. This one we know is really tiny. I really want, like, a big, big park. I mean, not like Central Park big, but just... Hmm. Large playground? 
Uh, it does fit in... Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. I was like, I'm pretty sure we have a massive park. That one right there. Perfect. All right. So, I mean, we could probably even fit some more in there, but I really don't want to do that. So, there we go. Large, large park. Now it's not connected to electricity, but hopefully we'll get some buildings coming in here so that we will soon have electricity. And what we can do in here is maybe add some more, um... Some shops, although we don't really have a commercial need right now, but hey... I'll try it anyway because that's going to help us connect all the way down through here. So let's try that there and what the heck is happening over here? What is splitting it there? It's not this. Huh. Weird. Alright, actually I'm going to get rid of that so they'll actually build up here first and actually connect with our power. So we won't have to build extra stuff that we don't need. Alright, so hopefully that'll help us with our money situation because of course we're still losing cash. Hey, there we go. And we're actually getting more people too. So that's always quite nice. And let's see, Cypress Residence. Alright, so this area of course we want it to stay as a, an area where, you know, we learn a lot. And it seems like maybe we do have a lot of buses here. Let's see, line overview. Oh, it's only 10. That's fine. 10 is fine. And will we ever connect to our power? Huh. Well, we don't really have anything down here, do we? So I can actually just bring this guy right down through here, down through here, and connect it right over here. There we go. So we should be good. Whew. Okay. Problem solved. And, well, as soon as we get any more money, I'm going to assume that we should probably pay this off. But at the same time, I kind of want to hold on to that just because any money that we get would be nicer used on this guy over here. So I guess we'll be... Have issued a severe oh, come on! For the area. Where is it? We don't even have an emergency shelter right now, honestly, so... Where is... Oh, aw, it's so cute! Look at the cute tornado! Although it's going right through Central Park, but hey, look at the cute tornado! Oh, it's so adorable! Oh, Like, I've seen the big tornadoes, but this one... Okay, it's not going through... Actually, it is going through Central Park. My gosh, this park is cursed. The park is literally cursed. Like, things could... <laughs> things could be worse for this park. Oh, man, Central Park, what did you ever do? I need a picture of this. Sorry, you guys. This is just, this is catastrophe right here. Just waiting to happen in just a second. So, gotta capture this moment because rest in peace, Central Park. Oh, boy. Yeah, this park is seriously, seriously cursed. First tsunami and now that. Oh, look at that. The tornado actually dissipated before it actually struck the park. Works for me. And, yeah, we're having a lot of issues with commercial, it seems, and also a little bit of this industrial here. And I saw that the commercial, yeah, it was one of the commercial ones that kind of went out of business there. So hopefully we'll be able to balance these out a little bit better pretty soon. But for now, it's just a matter of, oh, oh boy. <laughs> for now, it's just a matter of get water first because clearly we do not have everything watered here. So let's just stretch this out through to there. Um, hmm. Here? No. A little bit further along the way here. There we go. That's what I call water. All right. So I'm going to bring this all the way up through to right there and that should be good we can connect right there good and that's connected all right water we go nice all right so we're getting a nice little industrial zone right over here and this park should hopefully wow you're already visiting it nice nice and we are, do have some commercial coming in here so that's also pretty nice so this industrial area is definitely filling in pretty quickly and these areas here i'm saving them for special buildings because of course we want something special to be there we don't want it to just be you know random commercial that makes zero sense so we probably are going to need a clinic over here i will do a university hospital no worries no trouble about that that's always one of my uh, priorities here but of course we don't have enough money and we'll do a cemetery somewhere in here i'm thinking maybe over here just because i like putting cemeteries next to park uh, parks i am that morbid yes and let's see we have just about enough money to get ourselves a harbor the only thing that sucks about this though is that we uh, won't be able to connect the roads once we place it down because we, of course, do not have enough funding for that. So, hey, I mean, we're earning... E Wait, whoa, 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 hold the phone. We are getting over $8,000 right now, even though we are paying off, like, what was it, 400 Wow. We're rich. We're absolutely rich. Nice. All right. So, hey, let's go ahead and do the cargo harbor right now because what the heck, why not? So, ships, right. We want to go for just the cargo harbor, even though we could, you know, wait until we get the ones with the apparently a train station. But, uh, eh, whatever. We can add another one later on. Not actually troubled by that. Can you place it over here to make things a little bit cheaper for us? Eh, it's not going to work out that well, is it? Mm-hmm. So, let me just go ahead and do something like, uh... Leisure Suites. I just got that achievement unlocked. Not sure what that one was for. I'm going to have to check that later, but let's go ahead and drop that guy right there. And we still have money for this road, so I mean, works. Definitely works. So we'll have people bike all the way over here, just because. And let's see. I can probably just stop it right over here and then have that road coming in like, uh, having a nice thin road coming in over here. So let's see. We want a nice road coming out through here. Something like this here. 
Maybe up to there. Good. And we can then connect it somewhere up over here with something weird like that. Sure, weirdest weird road ever, but hey, that works for me. Let's see, we want to maybe do a road right through there just to connect that over there. That's <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there we go. Gotta love move it though to help us with these weird pieces. Although that's not exactly round now, but hey. It's okay. All right, there we go. So we can have people actually coming over here and doing what they do. Of course, we will add a train station over there, but it looks like we're going to need a little bit more money for that. And right now, we are, well, not exactly rich. So we're going to have to wait and do that. Uh-oh. Faculty. Uh-oh. Facility full. Okay, so that one is our um, cemetery. But yeah, we're going to have to wait to actually take care of everything else in the next episode. Because that is it for this episode of City Skylines Green Cities. If you enjoyed... Hit that like button for your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But anyways, always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.